One of, finally, one of your former opponent, opponents, Amir Khan, had his second fight a couple of weeks ago. Um, did you watch the fight? I saw some of it. What did you make of his performance? I think he's a little bit more hittable. I think his feet are slowing down. I think he used to move effortlessly, and he was to glide in and out of range effortlessly, and it made him so difficult to deal with. It really did. But I think his, I think his, his legs are feeling the weight now. I think he's uh, not that you know, he's fighting at a weight he shouldn't fight at, because as you get older, you have to gain weight. But I think his legs aren't sh strong anymore as you get older, and there's not as springy anymore, and so he's a little slower on his feet, and it looks like he's got to give an effort to move as opposed to he used to move effortlessly, you know. And I think because of that, he's a little bit more hittable. Um, guys like Sammy Vargas are getting to him now, and you know, guys like Sammy Vargas wouldn't have got to him before, you know. Like you had to, you used to have to punch with Amir to hit him. Like you couldn't take a chance on trying to actually time him. You, you either punched with him or you weren't going to hit him. You know, and guys who hit him were the only, only guys that were hitting him were the guys that punched with him. Uh, British Prescott, Maidana caught him with a good shot. Uh, Danny Garcia, they punched with him. You were not touching him otherwise. Guys who tried to box him before, myself, Colazzo, Del Alexander, Zab Judah, you couldn't hit him. I'm telling you, you had to punch with him. You had to just take a chance and punch with him. And uh, now you're seeing a guy like Sam Vargas, um, Sammy Vargas, who credit to Sammy Vargas, came very prepared and he came with a winning mentality. But a guy of that level, I notice, you know, he's not even punching with Amir. He's just literally setting Amir up and hitting him. You know, like Amir's just not getting out of range fast enough anymore. And the, and the mistakes he used to make, that he used to get away with, now he doesn't get away with them anymore. You know, like pulling back square and things like that. So. And the trainer change, you think that's significant? Um, Two different styles of trainers. Do I don't think it's. I don't think it has to do with the trainer. I think Joe Goose is a very good trainer. I, I think uh, Amir has had good trainers all through his career. You know, I, I don't. I wouldn't blame the trainer. I just think nature is nature. You know, and, and a guy with a moving style like Amir. You know, you're gonna probably you're gonna probably slow down a lot faster than, than somebody with a non-moving style. You know, or you have to adjust yourself a little bit. You have to learn how to fight a little bit flat-footed, and you know, make yourself a lesser target and fight a little bit better that way. But I don't know if I'm gonna learn that style anymore. You know, I know I was moving less as I my career got up there. You know, I, I think in my 30s, my by the time I won my second world title, I had a bit more head, a bit more head movement, a little bit, bit less leg movement. You know, I did use my legs. But, um, I had more. I use more, more upper body movement as well. So, so I think you know the, you have to add a couple of wrinkles as you lose a couple of other ones. You know, but um, I think I think in the end. I don't know. You know, it's the aging as well as also having been out of the ring. You know, that also ages you faster as well. You're not you're not consistently in the gym and inside the ring all the time. So, so you know, credit to Amir. He's had a good career, but I don't know that um, I, 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 I would I would chance him against like a big name. Maybe he does it just to try to cash himself out, but but I don't know that he, he's he's gonna he's gonna be at that level. And you're, you're risking, you know. Uh, Guys like Kel Brook and Manny Pacquiao, to me, they, they probably knock him out. Yeah. He's come on, he's come out and he said he wants a Manny Pacquiao fight. He, he has also come out and said in the past, I don't want to pull fighters out anymore because whenever I've done that, I don't get those fights to Mayweather Pacquiao. He's pulled out Pacquiao again. Pacquiao turned out and said, well, I'm going to be fighting Floyd Mayweather. Yeah. Does he have no option now but to fight Brook? Is that his only fight? I think, listen, man, I mean, this is like the, the conversation that goes in circles. I don't, Amir Khan doesn't want to fight Kel Brook. I really, you know, I don't even know why we stay on the conversation. He doesn't, he doesn't want to fight him. You know, I think, I think over the course of the entire, their, both of their careers, there are several opportunities to make this fight. And then at, certain, at other points, there were probably opportunities to make it a, a mega, mega huge fight, you know, and, and he never did it. I, I, I don't know how much more hints people need to see or to hear to know that he's got he's he has absolutely no interest in fighting Kel Brook. He doesn't want. I think he knows he gets beat. I, I think he knows he gets beat. And I think right now, I think there. You know, Ricky Hatton did this a junior winner as well. Joe Calzaghe did it to Paul Farage. You know, the, you notice this in the UK in this new gen, newer generations. You never saw where Eubank and Ben and got and Collins. Those guys just went at each other. But mm. since those guys, you start to notice where uh, a British fighter gets like a world. World rated, uh, 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 world, world recognition more so than other British fighters, and so now he doesn't want to risk becoming the second best British fighter when he's the more known world level fighter. You know, so all of a sudden they become too big to fight a British guy. You know, because I don't want to. If I'm the most known British guy worldwide, I don't want to lose another British guy. Then he might become the most known British guy worldwide uh, in my weight class. You know, at the moment. So, so I think Amir took the same approach. I think Ricky Hatton had the same approach from Junior Waiter, and I think Calzaghe. Uh, uh, I think would have uh, rather stayed away from Frosch as well, you know. And not to say that all three of those guys would have definitely lost to the other guy, but but I think there's a good chance they would have, and I think they would have rather not risk it.